The Joondalup Country Club and Golf Course, voted as one of the finest golf courses in the world by one of my mates this morning, features vast expanses of lush green lawn in which competitors do battle with shiny nickel-plated golf rackets in a bid to be the quickest to sink a small white ball into a rabbit hole. The course, usually exclusively reserved for competition between kangaroos and the occasional patron sneaking in under the cover of a kangaroo skin hat, decided to open for the first time to other species and host the RBC Capital Markets annual golf day. This in a bid to raise much needed funds to repair their clock tower, which was destroyed by lightning on November 12, 1955. With Perth's average of 280 sunny, clear sky days a year, this day was no exception, except it was about minus three degrees with 80 knots of wind and a good chance of death by lightning. Once the course was cleared of kangaroos and other hopping macropods, the day commenced with an introductory briefing. This detailed the course's unique hazards, including snakes, rabbits being chased by snakes, and apparently angry pirates. Gar! The country club's new controversial ruling of arms being folded at all times during play was soon withdrawn after being protested by this gentleman and then being violated by most competitors in the first few minutes. With the briefing complete and the golf sticks loaded into their cars, competitors met their first challenge of a bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic jam. Once resolved after a heated confrontation, some of the players found they could keep on top of this problem by simply bulldozing offending vehicles out of the way. <laughs> the golfing match raged on for several hours, and while playing well under par, many players took the opportunity to mine for subsurface mineral deposits. Did you get that one? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I missed it. It. <laughs> While other players had found they had either brought golf poles that were too short, or that playing with an imaginary ball was much easier. The play of the day was easily awarded to this player, who made use of a satellite remote and radio-controlled ball, which demonstrated surprising accuracy. Other players tried their luck at the same technique, which didn't really work out as well, resulting in most of their time being spent looking for their misguided electronic ball. During the day, the event organisers soon observed that their WA clients all owned the exact same make and model of white, electric, two-seat semi-convertible. Wanting to break the vehicle monotony, they promptly arranged a hole-in-one challenge on the 8th golf lane, with the prize up for grabs of a brand new BMW 520D. The prize featured the power of 520 diesel locomotives and standard options including transparent license plates and rear wheel mounted Auto Classics fiberglass flagpole. Despite the 5 Series only being capable of driving on a bed of freshly laid 12mm plywood, punters were still as keen as mustard to have a crack at the hole in one challenge. Keen to drive it home and void its new car warranty was this chap, who was the closest to the hole for the day and took home a rainbow as a consolation prize. At the end of the day, everyone got some time off work to play with some balls. And with no hole-in-one champion, the BMW was swiftly disposed of in the RBC Capital Market skip bin.